And these are just dinner rolls that I found in the frozen food section. I have some melted butter. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to this. Of course, if you are not a fan of garlic, you do not need to use it. I love garlic, or of course you can use fresh garlic if you prefer. Give this a little bit of a mix. Get this incorporated with our butter. I'm just gonna drizzle this right on top of our dinner rolls. Beautiful. Covering our dinner rolls with a little bit of plastic wrap here, and we're gonna go ahead and just set this on the countertop for our buns to rise. We have one bag of frozen spinach that is a 12 ounce bag. We have a rinsed and drained container of artichoke hearts. This is just one can that is 14 ounces. We have a half cup of our sour cream going right on top here of our delicious ingredients. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And we're gonna bring in a quarter cup of our mayonnaise. Beautiful. Next, we have eight ounces of our Philadelphia cream cheese. This is room temperature cream cheese, and we're gonna season with a little bit of black pepper. I love black pepper. My grandmother used to put black pepper on everything. She said it was good for you, and I believe her, it's delicious. Yum. And a little bit of garlic powder. Again, you can use the dried like I have, or you can use the fresh, or of course you can use minced, or even omit it altogether if that is not your jam. And I'm not going to use any salt, but if you want to use salt, you absolutely can. I'm a salt-free chef here. So I'm gonna give this a little mix here, get all of these ingredients incorporated together. As those are getting melted up together, we're gonna to continue to add some yummy goodness here. We've got a half cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. This is a two ounce bag. I'm just going to use half of it. So we've got one, cup going in. This is a two cup bag, so I'm just going to use half of this bag. So we have one cup of our shredded mozzarella. And we have a fourth of a cup of Parmesan. I'm gonna be eyeballing that one. That looks about a fourth of a cup, maybe a little more. So good. And again, we're just gonna stir this up, get all this incorporated together. Let that cheese melt down. Gooey goodness, wow. All right, so you can see this has melted up beautifully and it is ready. Let's go check on our buns. All right, so it looks like our buns have risen very nicely. We're gonna go ahead and pour our artichoke spinach dip right into the middle of our buns here. All right, wow, look at that. This comes together so easily. You guys, this is gonna be the hit of any party for sure. This is so delicious. It's great for game day. This is great just really for whenever because artichoke spinach dip with bread is so, so good. Look at that. All right, so our oven is set at 350 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and just pop this right into bake. All right, wow. So this was in the oven about 30 minutes or so. It is looking so delightful. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this yumminess. I love that you can just pull apart this bread. It is so yummy. Wow, you guys, look at this steam. This is so good. You have to try this recipe. Let me know what you love about it, what you're gonna do differently. Mmm, wow. Wow. That is so, so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. Gotta try that. 